Today's guide, Nox, the Roman goddess of night. I'll be going over her combos, what she brings to a team, and why she's known in the community as being a nuisance to go up against. I'll also cover her abilities and provide tips you will be able to apply in the next match. Item builds and conquest specific strategies will be avoided as these tend to change quite frequently. Feel free to skip to any part of this video that fits your needs. Roll the intro. Nox is part of the mage class, she deals magical damage and is typically seen in the mid lane. Due to the high amount of crowd control she possesses, Nox has also seen some success in the support role. She truly excels in team fights where she can disrupt enemy momentum. Having one of the largest silence in the game, mixed with a lockdown ability, a dash that enables her to become invulnerable, and a snipe, Nox's arsenal enables her to set up for her teammates all while unleashing a tremendous amount of burst damage. Passive, Flame of the Night Every time Nox uses an ability, she will light a candle and gain a percentage of magical power. This can stack up to 4 times. Whenever she takes damage from an enemy god, one of her candles is blown out. Ability number 1, Shadow Walk Nox sends her shadow in a line in front of her, passing through and damaging minions and stopping on the first enemy god hit. This will root, cripple, and damage the target over time for 2 seconds. This ability can be used through walls. While channeling, Nox receives no directional movement penalty. She must stay in range to keep the channel going. Crowd control reduction does not apply on this ability. Ability number 2, Siphon Darkness, also known as the Nox Bubble. Nox creates a circle that silences all enemies within, cancelling any currently channeled abilities and preventing any other abilities from being casted. After 2 seconds, it will explode dealing a high amount of damage. Ability number 3, Shadow Step. Nox dashes forward, dealing damage to all enemies she passes through. If she hits an ally god, she leaps into their shadow, traveling with them, becoming untargetable. After 8 seconds, Nox will exit and deal damage again in a radius around her. Nox may exit early by cancelling this ability. Ability number 4, the ultimate, Night Terror. Nox unleashes a giant shadow ball that explodes on contact, dealing damage to all enemies in range and applying damage over time for 5 seconds. Enemies receive a power debuff, dealing reduced damage for the duration. Nox is immune to crowd control during the channeling of this ability. The following is based on years of personal experience. Every player has their own style and preferences and that's alright. These tips are here to provide help to those who seek it. If you disagree with any of them, feel free to let me know. I try to keep an open mind and always willing to learn to get better at a game that I love. All of Nox's abilities have a high amount of power. This gives the player a choice on what they want to prioritize. The Nox Bubble is her strongest non-ultimate damage ability and her best minion wave clear, putting enough points into her second ability, the Nox Bubble, just to clear the minion waves, following up with her first ability, which deals good damage to both minions and enemy targets. It is easier to land and is on a shorter cooldown. The third ability increases its power when points are added. Whenever possible, put points into the ultimate. That said, is my recommended level up order. Tip number one. The famous Nox combo is well known in the community. Rooting enemies in the Siphon Darkness, or Nox Bubble, will deal a large amount of damage. On the other hand, using the same combo over and over becomes predictable. The Shadow Lock is a powerful tool on its own. Crippling and locking down opponents enables your team to follow up and single out enemies. Tip number 2 The dash can be combined with many different gods and abilities. Using another god's movement or global ability to surprise and gank can be very practical. A good example would be Thor and his ultimate. Dashing into Thor before he flies up, followed by exiting and dealing exploding damage on the recently stunned target from Thor's ultimate ability. 
This ability also goes through all enemies, making it a great tool for repositioning when surrounded. Tip number 3. Her ultimate ability is often used as a finisher due to its high range burst and take damage. It is also a great engaging tool thanks to the power debuff that it applies to enemies. This ability provides your team with an advantage and starts a fight with a bang. Tip number 4. Although movement abilities are great escaping tools, stopping a chasing opponent in their tracks works even better for both you and your allies. The crowd control immunity on the ultimate can help in avoiding potential threats. You can use your Siphon Darkness or Nox Bubble over yourself or allies to prevent any close range abilities. Thanks to its no movement penalty, the Shadow Lock is excellent at keeping enemies at a distance while you reposition. Tip number 5. Item synergy can sometimes make a character feel just right. Items that debuff enemies hit by your abilities can be beneficial. Spear of Magus is a great example. Whenever you deal damage to an opponent, they will take increased damage from all sources. Meaning whenever Nox lands her Shadow Lock, the unfortunate enemy caught will take increased damage from all of Nox's allies. I hope this video proved useful and that you'll be able to apply what you learned in your next match. If you enjoyed the content or there's a god you'd like to see next, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you all on the battleground.